We are going to continue on here with more tournament talk. We got boys hockey in tournament, we got girls basketball in tournament, and we also have our girls hockey in tournament. And so please tonight be joined by our senior captains uh, going, working our way down, uh, Allie McDonough, and I'm gonna kind of throw in a few award winning as we go along. Co-MVP of the Tri-Valley this year, congratulations. Senior captain Erin uh, Wagner, who is a Tri-Valley honorable mention and the Bruins award winner, right? So I understand that's kind of cool because then you get like your name announced at the garden and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think mom so, and dad yeah. would be really kind of say, want to go to the game, but congratulations yeah. on that. <laughs> Thank you. And then senior captain Allie Martin, Tri-Valley All-Star. <laughs> So we, we've got some we got some talent here, and I, this is Ed and Sally. Ed and Sally. <laughs> Ed, Ed and Sally. Okay, so we got everybody here that we need. First and foremost, congrats on making tournament. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Big accomplishment. You. you, the three of us, well, the four of us were talking before we came on air. Kind of, you know, last year, you know, there was a loss to Canton in the playoffs, so that you know, kind of a quick one and done. Coming into this year, what, what were your expectations following that? unfortunate early exit out of the playoffs. What were your expectations coming in? I'd say like our biggest thing was potential. Like it's, we had the potential to be an incredible team and mm -hmm. it's just if we utilized what we had if, or not. It's kind of like if we can work as a team and play as a team and practice hard, then we can be a good team, but it yeah. all comes down to like chemistry and how you work. Yeah. And, and I mean, you know, I mean, if we look at our, the, the record, you know, this year, you know, 13, seven and two. So, so clearly a lot of that chemistry, you, you know, came together, you know, mm -hmm. um, Aaron, what, what do you think was probably one of the biggest challenges this year that, that you guys had to face? Um, probably like consistency. Cause some games we were like, everyone's pass was going tape to tape, everything yeah. like that. And then some games, like everyone just seemed like off a little. Yeah. And so when we like got very good consistent games in a row, like we kept it going, which was like good throughout the season. So I think when we just got our, on our groove with consistency, like we were just a very, very good team out there on the ice. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd seen a couple games and I'd kind of seen kind of both ends of that. If you're mm -hmm. just off by a little bit, it, it, it can be, yeah, it can be a game of inches, you know, yeah, tape yeah. to tape, if it's the wrong tape, then you know the, the, the game quickly goes mm -hmm. the other way. Um, Ali, you know, we talked about the challenges. What, what would you say would probably be one of the one of the bigger surprises this year? Something maybe you, you guys weren't expecting. Um, well, definitely, I'd say Morgan Roach, the uh, Roach freshman. Yeah, mm -hmm. she definitely awesome. stepped up. I think she has like more than thirteen goals this season. I think yeah. so. She definitely is like a huge part of our team this year. That um, we knew she was going to be like an important part, but I don't think we realized like how big of a role she would play on our team. I, it, it, it's funny you mentioned her name because I don't know how many years ago it was. I, I actually had the chance with Bill Nama to coach her when she was mm -hmm. just, you know, I don't know, whatever level it was, it was yes. just a small. And it just, she's just such, she's got so much energy. And I know she banged up her wrist or broke her arm like last year or something like that at a practice. And so yeah. to, to mm -hmm. see her, like I think in that Ashland game, I mean, when she got that goal and it just, her energy that she brought, you could see. So that, that, that that's a great mm -hmm. point. Yeah, she's, mm -hmm. she's, she's, she is a pistol. Um, to, to get ready for the season, you know, what kind of stuff did the, the coaches have you go through or, or how did they prep you for the season? I'd say hockey is a pretty year-round sport, yeah. so I think all of us played throughout the offseason and so did most of the girls on the team. And it's just like they continued like checking in and making sure that like everyone was working in the offseason and had a stick in their hand at least one day a week. And it was just something that they all kind of put together that we'd all be like playing and like keeping up with hockey because it's a sport that you can get out of really easy. Yeah. So I'd say they just ensured that we were on it in the off season, I guess. Right. Now, one of the things that you guys have been doing for a while, and it's been kind of fun from, from my standpoint, is you guys go down to the vineyard now. We actually have a, like an entire weekend of, of, of girls hockey down there because all the, the, the girls youth teams go down and then you guys have kind of showcased it on Monday over, over President's Day third or fourth year we've been doing that I can't remember how many years we've been doing um, it but what's that what's that weekend like I mean in terms of getting to go over on the boat and play down because it's a nice rink now I mean what's it yeah. like going over to the vineyard to play down there it's honestly it's so much fun and just like awesome because it goes from like U12 all the way yeah. to the our varsity team so we gotta like go watch like the younger girls and then like they stay for our game and you can just like see like the energy and just everything like in the rink and it's just like started as like a rivalry kind of because we've been playing these girls since like you like right. 12 like yeah. our first year going over and we've just like 
gone like with them over the years and just played them every single year. Yeah, so. it's fun because I, I know Bill Nauman knows the head coach of the high school, so it's kind of mm -hmm. how you know yeah. a lot of that got started. And I think I mentioned I'm a graduate of Martha's Vineyard High School, so when mm -hmm. Martha's Vineyard beat you guys, that was kind of fun. But <laughs> turnaround was fair play. You, you, you got the vineyard this year. Yeah. Um, you qualified for the tournament a couple weeks ago, you know, a couple games ago. Mm -hmm. How does that kind of at least kind of alleviate the pressure, as it were, you know, so that you kind of know you're in, so you can kind of finish out the season? Does, does that help at all when, when you make it a uh, little earlier? Yeah, for sure. I mean, last year we made it on our very last game of the right. season, yeah. so that was it. I think it put a lot of stress on us. So this way, at least we know that like our season's going to continue, but we still have to like work to make sure we win the games to get a higher seed. Right. But it definitely, I think, <laughs> makes it a lot easier. Yeah. You don't need to go into the last game, <laughs> yeah. you know. You yeah, yeah exactly. Win, right? <laughs> right. I don't. Neither do the coaches. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, speaking of which, so now we were talking seedings. Now that now that we're in, and, and nothing's official, uh, Allie, but it looks like mm -hmm. preliminaries might have you around the number fourteen. Um, and again, nothing's definite, but just checking out, it looks like it might be Wakefield out of the uh, what's called the Middlesex Freedom League, mm -hmm. a team you've not seen before. Um, you know, you guys play the Westwoods and the Cansons and Dedhams, and we see them frequently. How do you think you, you, you prepare for a team that, that you've never played before? I'd say we have to go into the game like not thinking anything about them because a lot of times we'd get in our own head thinking, oh, we're playing like Westwood or Canton or any other big teams, and it kind of just distracts you the entire right. game thinking about like the challenge you're going to have to overcome. So I'd say we have to go into this game thinking that they have to adapt the way that we play. We don't want to adapt to them Good. and just have the energy, bring it onto the ice. Right. That's that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's a great that's a great philosophy. Make them yeah. you know play to your game. Don't yeah. you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about theirs. Not to get ahead of ourselves, but if you're looking overall at this tournament, what are a couple of the teams that you see out there that are probably, you know, right now that look like some of the tougher ones? You know, Aaron, what do you think? Um, I think Canton and Wellesley, obviously, yeah. since oh, they've yeah. won, the right. yeah. won the past okay. two years. Right, right. Um, and Westwood, but I believe, like, if our team is playing at our full potential, like, we can really just beat anything, anyone. Like, tournament's just a whole nother. Sure. Season, yep. practically. It, it really is, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's one of those, it's a one and done, and so you'd like to continue mm -hmm. to play to mm -hmm. make it to the ultimate. But, um, yeah, I, I think the most important thing is obviously to enjoy the ride as mm -hmm. you go along. Yeah. So I'm going to say before we do our next little kind of fun activity is, is, is to wish you guys the best of luck in tournament and, and, and whatnot. But I, there, uh, I would be Thank remiss, <laughs> we would be remiss if we did not mention a particular event that happened just recently. Someone uh, here on, on the stage, and I know it wasn't me, because I think in my <laughs> high school career I might have had one or two points. Someone just hit their 100th point, and what an accomplishment for you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. So what we'd like to do is to kind of head over to our magic board, mm -hmm. and Mike Maloof extraordinary has got it kind of teed up. And so, because you all three were on the ice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if we go over to the board over here, we can kind of maybe break down th this 100th point. Mm -hmm. So let's walk on over. You know, this is kind of interactive TV now. <laughs> so if 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 this if the, the sports room back there is working up here on our board, should come should come the big uh, uh, event. But while we're waiting for it, up oh, and here we go. So <laughs> now, as we start to roll it, now, Allie, did you know coming in that you were kind of at 99? Uh, unfortunately, I did. They tried to keep it a surprise, <laughs> but I believe the game before the ref kind of told me about it and told like me not to like let it get in my head and right. there it goes and, and right then now it's head. in my head <laughs> <laughs> okay so just so people at home know I understand you're 17 right mm -hmm. okay so this is a power play and 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 we're playing against whom this this afternoon on uh, this, this is St. Peter Marion St. Peter Marion okay so we're on a power play um defensively Aaron I see you're kind of pinching in here uh, Allie Martin where are you uh in this whole um, I'm also on defense. Oh, okay, so our two Ds are here, keeping the, keeping the play in. So for, for the two of you, did you both also know that she was one point away? Yeah, yeah. I only knew yeah. because the ref told her and I was right there. So oh, okay. <laughs> that's the okay. only reason why I knew. So you knew, so prior to the start of the, 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 the power play, did you both know or was this like as the power play was starting that that's when the ref had said something? Um, it was a different game, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. you it knew was a coming game. into yeah. the yeah. game. Yeah, I yeah. Gotcha. Okay, okay. All right. So as we're setting up the power play, are you guys looking, you know, Aaron and, and, and Allie, are you looking to try to set up Allie to get that 100th point, or are we just looking to get a goal? Maybe a combination. Um, probably more of a combination, yep. but 
she's just usually out there just scoring <laughs> goals, obviously, with the 100 <laughs> points. So I had faith she would get it in this, like, power play or just in this game. Like, right. I just had that, like, feeling. I was like, okay, like, I know, like, this game she's going to get yep. it. And, yeah. and Allie, did you kind of have that same feeling that maybe this is, this, it was going to happen this game, or? I was kind of hoping so. This was during the second period, and I was kind of nervous the entire first period, and I kind of wanted just to get it over oh, with. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. All right, so if we could roll just a little bit, I see that you're kind of, you know, looking to, to get up front there. Mm -hmm. You know, Aaron gets the shot on net. Who Now, who's that off? Because someone's going to pick up the Morgan. assist right Morgan. Morgan. Yes. Of course, Rochi. Yeah. Yeah, there you course. go. There you go. <laughs> All right, so Rochi's got it on the backhand, and, and you are in the right spot at the right place, yeah. and there it was, right? Really? When, when that went in at that moment right there, I mean, what's... Again, 100 points is that you know what an accomplishment. What what's that? What does that gotta feel like? It was like pure excitement. Sure. Like you could hear like the crowd going. I think my mom carried a few <laughs> signs like down the glass. Yeah, yeah. I think like even the other team started tapping their six for me. It was awesome. That's great. That's great. And so for you two guys to have been part of this career that, that and and you know you don't get 100 points on your own. You yeah. know it takes <laughs> really? as they say it takes a village. It takes you know your entire squad, JVs, coaches, everything to kind of help get you there. Mm -hmm. To be part of that, you know, one, not only to be a teammate, but also to be actually on the ice for it. What, you know, for you two guys, what's that kind of like? Um, I think it was kind of special because, like, we've all been playing together since we started. So for her to, like, reach her 100th point and for us to be out there with her, I think that was pretty special. Yeah, that's great. Well, again, congratulations. Quite, you know, Thank just you. just the fourth, <laughs> you're, you're the fourth in, in, in high school history, you know, for, from, from the, on the girls' teams to hit 100. That's, that's quite an accomplishment, something Thank that, you, you know, you got the puck with the tape on it and all that. You yeah. Know, mm -hmm. you know, don't lose that. Keep that, <laughs> you know, so keep that somewhere. So just to wrap up, you're all seniors, so we're kind of, you know, this is it kind of deal. If you had to look back, and we'll just kind of go straight down the line. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what do you take away from your hockey career here at the high school? And even, you know, through, through youth hockey, mm. you know, what, what, do you, what do you take away from it? I'd say that, like, nothing is going to beat hockey. It's a sport yeah, that, yes. like, uh, there's so much to it that you just can't compare it to anything else. Like, scoring a goal on the ice and having everyone crowd around you is just so different from anything I've ever yeah, experienced yeah. that, like, I'm just going to miss it. Yeah, yeah. Erin, to you? Um, kind of like going off it, it's like the bonds like I have made with my friends like even like off the ice like in the locker room like mm -hmm. those moments just like there's no other sport where you're in the locker room for like that long just like getting ready with everyone like and we're with each other like 24-7 yeah. practically. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, like, exactly. It's just like I wouldn't want to be with any other 20 girls like yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. just going to miss it so much like <laughs> even from like youth like it's always just been my favorite so I don't know. It's, it's going to be weird. It is. Yeah. It, it, it is tough. And, I, and, and I've said, you know, both my boys played, and anybody that does, you know, to enjoy the the times. Because I mean, you, you guys can speak to it now. It goes by real fast. Yeah. It really does. Too I mean, you're like, wait a second, we were Too just fast. freshmen. What happened? <laughs> right. Um, but it sounds like the three of you have had a great career thus far. Mm -hmm. And so now we'll just go off and win a state championship. So oh, there's, of there's no pressure yep. whatsoever. And NCM <laughs> yep. will cover it all the way, and, mm -hmm. and, and we'll go. So, listen again. Congrats to all three of you on. A great careers up until this point, and Thank you. best of luck for tournament. Thank okay. you. Now we do have some very talented um, hockey players that can not only skate, but we know that they can sing, and we were able to catch a couple national anthems just recently by two Nord Mustangs. Uh, actually, it wasn't my idea. It was my. Own. It was my coach's idea at first, and I had said no. And then um, uh, Mrs. Tolman had texted my mom, and my mom really wanted me to do it. And I had decided, you know what, I'll do it for her. And since it's my last time at senior night, so I figured it'd be a good way to end it. Um, so I thought, oh, it'd be really cool if I could sing the national anthem, because I'm pretty sure my mom did it when she was younger. Um, I saw a bunch of other people doing it over the course of my high school years. And I'm like, what if I did that? I thought that would be really cool. The, my, be, my favorite part was when like everyone was clapping after I finished. Um, made me feel really accomplished with what I did because I worked really hard uh, trying to get it like get it down, get it perfect um, for game day. So that was a really great experience. It's one of those things where I'm glad I got the opportunity to do it, and I'm glad that I did do it. Um, you know, I think that when I look back, I can just remember how. Even if I didn't play as much, I can remember that I did sing the national anthem for it, so. Louder. 
what so proudly we held that the twilight must be big, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we walked were so gallantly streaming, and the Say does the far spangled banner.